When I came to you about a year ago with uh, the idea that was to become Sticky Beach, you were already running one of New Zealand's most successful startups. You had operations in three countries, 40 or 50 employees, won a host of awards. Plus you had about two other smaller businesses, according to my calculations. What on earth made you take on another one? Oh, shucks. Uh, I guess just wanted to be a business with you really, David. <laughs> no, I could tell that the uh, Sticky Beak value proposition was extremely strong. Um, and one Why? of the things about being involved in a startup <clears throat> or in, you know, in startups is that a lot of people come to you with their startup ideas. So I probably uh -huh. get one or two groups of people per week, you know, coming and saying, oh, I want to extend my mortgage and throw all my money into this. Right. Usually a terrible idea. <laughs> but my first piece of advice is always to uh, go and do some research, talk to your prospective customers, right. and pick up the phone. Uh, and for whatever reason, that seems to be a, a huge barrier to a lot of people. And I just thought that the whole ecosystem would really benefit from a tool like Sticky Beak. So as a product owner, I often talk to customers, I try and do it every week actually, um, and just so you can hear directly from uh, your customers what's right. wrong and what's right with your product. And I just saw that Sticky Beak is all really great way of automating that and, um, right. and getting a much larger sample size. You've been in the marketing and comms uh, industry for a long time now, David. You've been around the traps, bit of a veteran. Um, how, how do you see the impact of um, marketing automation tools? Well, I think marketing automation is really the second technology revolution that the um, marketing and comms industry has suffered, if you like. Uh, the first one was the arrival of the uh, social media platform yeah. and it changed the business model for agencies and it changed the relationship between agency and client. But all of that was external to both of them. The marketing automation revolution, the challenge that um, companies and agencies have is that is all internal. Yeah. And so um, I guess what I mean by marketing automation is all of the sort of software applications that automate existing tasks that agencies and, and, and companies do and um, uh, so, for example, MailChimp automates your EDM. What that's meant for the agency and client marketing and comms market has been much more disruptive than that previous right. transformation, I think, because it's internal. And that means that behaviours have got to change and skill sets have got to change. So you know, a PR company now will probably have a stack of between 12 and 30 different um, applications that somebody in that business has got to understand, use, yeah, choose, research, run the training yeah. for, and the communications and, and integrate, for, and integrate. And you've just experienced that with your business, of course. That's right. Being a technologist, I thought, well, this would be easy uh, integrating all these marketing automation tools. Um, but for a small business, there was a lot of research to be done. It's a, quite a fast um, moving uh, space, right. and so and trying to figure out. Um, which tools to choose at which stage of your business. So with that in mind, when you were sort of building Sticky Beat, what, 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 you know, what did that change in terms of your thinking and, and, and how the product sort of sits into and how the product sort of sits into Well, I, I think Sticky Beak is a fantastic addition to uh, marketing automation because it, it, it works for small companies, as I've said yeah. previously, but also it, it works for companies and agencies that were conducting traditional research just because it's so, Sticky Beak is so much faster um, and, and cheaper, and you're able to access those um, those audiences really directly. Uh, and so I think it scales really nicely from um, right. small business through to enterprise. It's always a challenge to sort of rein back because you, you of course, think that we are just at the beginning of what sort of conversation engaging research could and should be. What, what do you sort of see coming over the horizon? We're going to see in the next few years an increased um, number of implementations and that really right. harness the power of machine learning, natural language processing. So I think what we've got is a really engaging conversational interface, but in two or three years, um, it will be even more engaging, even more immersive. Right. Um, and I think in that way, oh, that's why I'm excited to be on board with Sticky Bee, because I think the product will continue to evolve um, with the technology.